hello and welcome back i hope you liked that video that you saw at the beginning there just now as it sets the theme or the tone for today's design video tutorial in case you're new to this channel my name is jensen and i teach you how to create designs like what you're seeing on your screen using nothing but your mobile phone and an app called canva so if you're ready let's get into it Okay, so for today's design tutorial, you will need five elements. Now you're seeing four on your screen and you're asking yourself why five and there are four? Well, one of the design elements has the same name and there are two different design elements that carry the same name. So let me explain to you what I mean. So for the first one, for the background, we're going to use the Starry Night watercolor and that's a pro feature. As a matter of fact, all of the features that we're using today, or the design elements rather, are Pro features. But not to worry, if you don't have Canva Pro, there's a link down in the description that you can click on to try Canva Pro free for 30 days. And if you have Canva Pro, then great, you have everything that you need. So let's continue. So the first design element is Starry Night Watercolor, that's the background. Then we're going to look at the Green Grass Field Watercolor design element, that's a Pro feature or pro element rather the third one will be the autumn watercolor landscape and that's what we're going to use to select the house and the mountain range you're seeing in the background and then finally the watercolor fence so what these are the design elements that you will need so with that aspect done let's get into the actual design element okay so this is the screen that would greet you when you first open up canva for mobile on your mobile device so let's get into it at the bottom right of your phone above menu you will see a white plus sign in a purplish circle we're going to tap on that the next thing we're going to tap on is custom size and then we're going to have a width of 4500 pixels and a height of 5400 pixels with the unit of measurement today being pixels right so you're going to type in 4500 for the width and 5,400 for the height and then tap on create new design. Okay, now that you have your canvas created, we're going to tap the plus sign located to the bottom left of your phone. So you tap on that and then we're going to start to look for our design elements and work our way forward. If for some reason the screen that you see doesn't default on elements, which is located at the bottom of your phone, you just tap on the elements tab. And then we will tap in search anything from Canva and then we will start our search. So the first thing we're going to look for is the Starry Night Watercolor. Alright, so in preparation for today's video, I went ahead and I typed it out. But that is what you are typing and you will press search. Usually I will tell you at this stage to go to the graphics tab, but in this case we're going to leave it on all. And then we're going to scroll until we see the background that we want to use. And there are so many beautiful backgrounds that I would like to encourage you, or pictures rather, I would like to encourage you to experiment and find one that you like. So just to keep consistent with today's design theme, I'm going to select this one that says Pro. So now that we have this in place, what I'm going to do is, are you seeing those three dots located at the top of the design element next to the trash can we're going to tap on that and we're going to tap set image as background All right so now that we have that in place we're going to now search for the green grass field watercolor so we're going to start to build from the back and build forward so now that we have our background in place we're going to tap the plus sign again clear the last search result and type in green green grass field watercolor you will type that in and press search we're going to come on the graphics tab in this case and we are going to use this very first one that you're seeing here that says pro you're going to drag it in place down to the bottom here size it accordingly so that it fills up the bottom of the screen and that looks pretty good right there 
if you are not happy with how some things are looking you are free to experiment you don't have to stick to it exactly like what i am doing all right so now we have our field there the next thing that we're going to search for is going to be the autumn watercolor landscape that's the next thing we're going to search for we come back to our plus sign clear the last search result and type in autumn autumn watercolor landscape you type that in and you press search then we come across to the graphics tab and for some reason my internet is moving slower than usual today it's usually lightning fast but I guess not every day is going to be like that anyhow so here we have the first one that has loaded it is a sort of a red house with a nice sort of a mature trees in the background with one big tree to the front that has a pro um, I guess label on it we're going to tap on that and then we're going to move it into place like right about there and resize it by grabbing one of the corners the circles and making it larger or smaller now this would be a designer's choice in terms of how big or small you want to make it but I think for today's video that looks good right there and for most instances we can stop here and this is pretty good as is but for consistency with the original image that you saw at the beginning of your video we're going to continue now you're going to come back to the plus sign located at the bottom left of your phone and tap on that leaving the existing results that we have searched for in terms of that is autumn watercolor landscape we're going to continue with this and right next to the first design element that we use we're going to select the next one that says pro that's right underneath the photos tab with the mountain range and whatnot we're going to select on that now we're going to put it in place like somewhat behind there and then what you're going to do is we'll, we are going to push it behind the existing two design elements in terms of the green grass field and the house so we're going to tap on the three uh, we're going to scroll to the bottom of our phone rather until we see position then we're going to tap backwards and then tap backwards again and then we're going to reposition it because if you look to the bottom of the mountain range you'll see a little bit of blue sticking out to the right hand side of the phone well we don't want that so we're going to bring it down and drag it across like that i think that looks good right there and then what we want to do using the same design element that's highlighted we're going to duplicate it and move it across to the side and then we're going to push it behind so we're going to scroll to the bottom of our phone until we see the position um, option tap on that and then we're going to say backward once backward again twice and i think that looks good right there and then we're going to add the last design element which would be the watercolor fence so we come to the plus sign clear the last search result and typing watercolor fence Right, watercolor fence let me search for that i'm already seeing the design element that i want and it's the very first one under all we don't need to go to the graphics tab but again i will encourage you to play with all of the design elements and see what best suits you or the person you're designing this for or for your print on demand market for your consumers so we tap on that and we're gonna put it in place grab one of the ends and shrink it down move it across until we are satisfied with the placement of it like right there tap on the design element again duplicate it move it across but you see how it doesn't quite look as though um it is how do i say symmetrical or it doesn't look as though it's moving towards the um, property that's not a problem we're going to flip it so with the design element highlighted we're going to scroll to the bottom of our phone so we see the option for flip and we're going to say rotate horizontal or flip horizontal and then we're going to position it in place in the position that we think would be suitable for the design and there you have it your design is done now we're going to download this and then i'm going to upload it and show you what it looks like on end products so that way in your mind's eye you'll have a des an idea of what your design would look like on some end products. Now, this is not um, 
I didn't do this for t-shirts and what and um, whatnot, but I did include one or two because if you're using a graphic t-shirt, the graphic t-shirts are used to show really big or wonderful pieces of art. So this can work on a graphic t-shirt, but not on a regular t-shirt. You'll see what I mean in that part of the video. But for now, that, let me show you how to download this. Now, there are two ways that we can do this. If you just click on the down pointing arrow located to the top right of your phone, it'll download everything. Um, and then the other thing that we can do is we hit the off arrow and say download. And we don't use transparent background. And then we tap on download. So that's one way. And it will download. The next way that we can do it, as I mentioned not too long ago, is we tap on the down arrow here and it will download it. Congratulations, your design is done and it has a very simple watercolor feel to it. So for the next part of the video, as I mentioned previously, we're going to see what this looks like what this looks like <laughs> on some end products. So I will see you on that side. Okay, so I'm glad you made it this far. That means that you got value for my little video today and for that i'm very grateful and i want to tell you thank you okay so what you're seeing on your screen now is a magnet stickers would look exactly like this so i'm not going to waste your time and show you what stickers would look like because it will look just like this what you're seeing on on your screen so this is what the design would look like on a mouse pad and this is the graphic t-shirt that i made mention of earlier on in the video so you would see what it looks like on a graphic t-shirt where you print all over except the sleeves and honestly it doesn't look too bad <laughs> so if you're into art and watercolor art and that and you want to showcase your work then this is a good medium in which to express yourself so it's not bad i'm pleasantly surprised <laughs> this is um, an ipad <laughs> case so this is what the design would look like on an ipad case this is an iphone case what the design would look like there here we have a postcard and this is a floor pillow this is a throw pillow this is an all over print tote bag this is a coffee mug another angle of the coffee mug I love coffee mugs <laughs> this is a face mask this is a zipper pouch this is a spiral bound notebook this is an apron and finally we have a greeting card so that's it i hope you got value from my little video today and if you did please feel free to like and subscribe and share the video so other people can see how easy it is to create designs using nothing but your mobile phone and an app called canva so if for example you have a long commute home on a train or a subway or a ferry or boat or whatever and you have data on your phone you can design stuff and don't do like me and look at funny cat videos and spend hours looking at social media and funny videos you can use that time more productively and create things and how do i say create a passive form of income for yourself or a scalable source of income by opening a print on demand store of your choosing anywhere and uploading your products there and selling it be it etsy or redbubble or merch by amazon or wood by amazon or Printify or Shopify or whatever it is you want to use then you now know and you have the skills in which to create designs for yourself upload it and make some passive income so I guess that's it for today I'll see you in the next one bye